Okay, so I had uh, a question about how you actually go about merging the shapes, and maybe I didn't explain that clearly enough in the last video. So um, what I've done is draw a circle here just for demonstration purposes, and I'm going to uh, draw another circle uh, inside that in some location, and we're going to subtract that from the uh, main one so that we have a circle within a circle. And I'll show you how that responds then when you try to enter text into it. So first of all, grab your ellipse tool and draw a circle, and then stay with the ellipse tool, make sure you're still on the same layer, and go up to your um, settings up here, and choose subtract front shape. And so with that selected, you can see I've got the little minus in there, and I'm gonna go ahead and draw a, a circle to subtract from inside that. Okay, so there we go. Now, <clears throat> as I was trying to explain in the previous video, if you just um, I clicked over onto my type tool here, press T, you have a few type options. There's your standard type tool. Then if you hover over the edge of your shape, you'll see uh, the type on a path option. And if you go down into the shape, hover over the shape, you'll see that it turns to a circle and that's um, to type inside a path. So that's what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click inside there and I've already got some uh, text copied. Actually, let me just copy that again, make sure I've got it, okay. Copy that and uh, go ahead and again click inside that circle and paste my text. And if I hide that circle layer behind it, um, you see that I've got the overall shape of the circle, but I'm missing that cutout in the middle. And that is because these two circles are not joined into one single line. Um, there's not really any way, at least as far as I know, and I'm using uh, CS6, so maybe things have changed in the later versions of Photoshop, but in any case, um, these two paths, these two sections of the shapes need to be combined somehow, so that's what we're going to do next, because if you go back to this type uh, layer, and if you click on the direct selection tool, or press A, you'll see the outline of exactly what the path is that you that you pasted your type into and obviously we didn't want the circle we wanted the circle combined with the inner circle beneath it so the only good solution here is um, at first you can try to let me click on my shape layer you can try to select both of these and go up to the top and choose merge shape components but that doesn't actually work so what you need to do first is to draw an out uh, make make sort of an outlet so that the uh, the white space in here can also connect with the white space out there. So that's what I have been doing in the previous video where um, we'll just switch over to the rectangle tool, uh, make sure that we have selected again the subtract from front shape, and draw a little bit of a line in there. And there we go. So now we have three shapes in here. We've got the uh, the outer shape. The inner, the inner circle, and then this line that's going to serve as a an out for the uh, for the whole entire path to become one cohesive path rather than all these separate ones. So now I'll go ahead and go up to merge shape components, do that, and you'll see that we have one solid line through everything um, there, and it's all one one shape. So now I'm going to delete that text layer I created before hit the T key to bring up your type tool again and click inside this path and paste in your text and now you can see if we uh, turn off the shape layer and again click the A key or click your direct selection tool now you can see that the text is indeed wrapping around um, this shape that we created and you might have to play with this a little bit to um, to get this all onto you know like one line you can see we have a bad line break there so if you just select uh, these anchor points and we're just gonna select all those and move them up I'm gonna keep moving them up there we go and your text will eventually get to the place where it wraps all uh, nicely onto onto one line there so that's basically how you how you do that and uh, you can see you don't really even notice that there's a a white space there that there's an actual 
line that goes through that shape um, as long as you do it in a place where your your uh, font letting um, handles things uh, you're pretty much good to go and you don't realize that there's uh, any any inconsistencies with that path so hopefully that gives you a little better uh, demonstration just uh, quickly of how combining those shapes to allow you to type inside works and uh, if you have any other questions let me know and I'll try to do a little better about actually responding to comments this time around. Alright, thanks.